When I made the choice to have an abortion, I would have said that I was pro-choice. I knew it would break my parents' heart to find out that I was pregnant outside of marriage, and so I decided to terminate my pregnancy. It seemed like, at the time, a relief not to deal with that fear anymore. And I denied even to myself that I'd even ever been pregnant. When I was 28, I got married, and um, my first pregnancy ended in a miscarriage, and I had to come to terms with the fact that I perhaps had killed the only baby that I would ever have. I will never kiss his brow or smooth his hair, exclaim over his accomplishments, or comfort his pain. I would have given him to somebody else to love, and today I live with the hope that we might meet someday. But a self-centered, pro-choice philosophy, a me-centered mindset has robbed me of my own child. I can't get him back. I can't even say sorry. Now I have all these children and grandchildren, but there's a face I will never see on this earth. There are no words of consolation or rhetoric that can change the facts or erase my pain. My child is gone, and tears melt my heart. Right around the time that I had my miscarriage, I had a friend that came over with Right to Life materials, which I'd never looked at before. But as I looked at them, I realized, I realized what I had done, that, that this baby had always been a baby from the time that it was conceived. And so what had been this vague, idea in the back of my head about fetal development and whatever suddenly became very, very real. But praise God, I had become a Christian shortly before that. And it was so cool because I was able to run into the arms of Jesus and, and ask Him for the first time for forgiveness for that thing that I'd done so many years before. And to know that that he was covering me with his blood and that I would be, I could be clean. I would say to all the women that are pregnant right now with a baby that they didn't plan on, that every life is a gift and that God doesn't, doesn't have any accidents. Nobody, nobody gets pregnant accidentally. Every baby is, a, is planned by God. If this is an unplanned pregnancy for, for them, then I just encourage them to jump into the arms of Jesus and walk through those nine months because they'll go really, really fast. And to give life is such an amazing opportunity. And it doesn't mean you have to be a mom you can give them to somebody else to love if it's too hard to be a mom right now. And so don't miss the opportunity to give life. We were created to give life. If you've already made that choice to have an abortion, I just want to tell you I'm sorry because I know how that feels to walk around with that guilt and shame, whether you've ever come in contact with the pain of that or not, I know that it is affecting you spiritually. And so I know that the blood of Jesus washes you free, but sometimes it's good to just have somebody to talk to about that. And there's a difference between guilt and uh, grief. I don't feel guilty anymore. I know that Jesus' blood has covered me. But I still feel sad because there's a face on this earth that I will never see. I think the hardest thing is not to believe that God loves us, but for us to forgive ourselves. And so I just encourage you today to, to step into the forgiveness that God has for you.